So when I started coming up with the speech, the first thing that came to my mind was a time back when I was 10 uh, in school. And I went there, and they asked me, hey, who's your role model? Uh, who do you want to grow up and aspire to be like the most? And I knew that minute exactly that it was my older brother, Joseph. <laughs> oh my god! Is that perfect? Oh my god! I'm shaking! So, soon after Megan and Joe started dating, I, um, you know, had the pleasure of meeting Megan, and I remember being at Joe's parents' house, and this girl's in the room, and she's like, hey, do you want to color our names in Sharpie on the wall? And I'm just like, what is going on here? But that's Megan. Megan is just so full of spirit and always trying to have a good time and I knew in that moment we were going to be the best of friends. Hey! I've been looking for you all day. Thank you all for attending today as Joseph and Megan finally join hands in marriage. After a 15 year trial period, they thought now's the time to show each other how so incredibly serious they are. <laughs> so they chose April Fool's Day, officiated <laughs> by me, the most sarcastic person they know. Uh, quick intro, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike. I've been happily married to Joseph's sister Carly for about 10 years. I'll uh, be marrying Joseph and Megan today. And uh, if I marry one more Catanzarite, I earn a free meal at Chuck and Jams' house, so. <laughs> um, as most of you know, these two are a blast to be around and their love for each other is infectious. They're a quirky, goofy, fun-loving couple. So when they asked me to officiate for them a year ago on April Fool's Day, I thought it was a funny joke, so I said yes. After all, I have a crippling fear of crowds and public speaking. <laughs> but, I'm happy to satisfy their sick urges to torment me in the name of uh, love. <laughs> I'm still not sure if they're getting married today or if it's just an elaborate prank to really, they're really committed to. Uh, but that's why we're here today. They're boundless commitment. Because however committed they are to pranking a brother who's done absolutely nothing wrong, there's no question how much more committed they are to each other. Just look at their history, 15 years together. Oh, God. They, they, <laughs> they've met as teenagers. They've grown up together through all of life's twists and turns, successes and failures. So many amazing milestones hit, all while showing this commitment to love each other and laugh along the way. And that growth is what makes them special. They've literally grown up together. They're life's most formative years. Commitment isn't just about staying together. It's about growing together making mistakes, learning from them, bettering yourself, and ultimately creating a stronger and more, more fulfilling connection. It's inspiring to see how much happiness you two bring to each other, how you never lost that sense of joy and playfulness in your relationship. And so this is just another step in proving your commitment to each other. And you don't need me or anyone else telling you what to expect or what you should be doing. You two are already killing it. So, so how about we make this thing official? You guys ready? Ready. Okay. Uh, start. It's the IG part. Okay. Uh, please take your partner's hand. Joseph, 
Do you take Megan to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, in sickness and in health, even after she narrowly beats you in the game of Mario Kart because she was holding onto the blue shell until the very end? I absolutely do. <laughs> Megan, do you take Joseph to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, in sickness and in health, even when he goes to bed so early you can't get any sleep because of his labor, <laughs> borderline aggressive snoring. I do. <laughs> now, I know you guys like to play games, so we're going to play some Follow the Leader, The Vows Edition. <laughs> the rules are easy. Just repeat after me while looking your partner in the eyes, and then you'll slide your ring on the other's finger. So we're going to need those rings. <laughs> okay, we'll take this and hold it. Now you repeat after me. With this ring, I promise. With this ring, I promise. To continue bringing flowers, not only on holidays. To continue bringing flowers, not only on holidays. To never let you go to bed mad and always kiss you goodnight. To never let you go to bed mad and always kiss you goodnight. To not get mad when you bring home stray dogs you may find. To not get that mad when you bring stray dogs home. <laughs> to continue to know you are always right. To continue to know you are always right. <laughs> to sometimes let you win in Mario Kart. To sometimes. <laughs> to sometimes let you win in Mario Kart. Always. Sometimes. <laughs> As your best friend, lover, and partner for life. As your best friend, lover, and partner for life. It's your turn. Repeat after me. With this ring, I promise. With this ring, I promise. To continue cooking for you and help just a little with cleaning. <laughs> to continue cooking for you and help with cleaning just a little. That's all over. To always admire your huge heart. <laughs> <laughs> always admire your huge heart. <laughs> to love you even after that gorgeous head of hair falls off. To love you even after that gorgeous head of hair falls off and you buy wig. <laughs> to always be the daisy to your Luigi. To always be the daisy to your Luigi. As your best friend, lover, and partner for life. As your best friend, lover, and partner for life. <laughs> okay. And now there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> By the power vested in me by the state of Ohio and by www.universallifechurch.org slash get ordained in 15 minutes, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the brain.
Congratulations, Joe. Thank you, Megan. Congratulations, Joe. Love you both so much. I've been there since the beginning. It's about effing time. Love you guys. Love you more than he does. What he said. Times two. Let's do it.